What's up guys? I got a very special guest today, Elisha, someone who's definitely on the journey, who's all about this, the mindset, you know, the success mindset, the grinding, the nofap, the spirituality, the books, the knowledge, all that good shit we're all about on this channel. So I want you guys to show him some love. Go check out his channel. This is someone I actually watch myself. I'm subscribed to, I got the notifications on and all that good stuff. So this is definitely someone I look up to and yeah, go give him some love. Peace. Day 10, no fat. Guys, a couple years back, six years ago, I was 19 years old. And during this time, I was getting depressed. I was feeling unmotivated. I felt no motivation for life. So I would lay in bed all the time, and you've probably heard the story. But, so you know what I learned to do is I learned to cope. And I did that by turning to a substance. This substance was nicotine. It wasn't through smoking, excuse me. It was through dipping tobacco the, in the can. And I would now do this once a week and then eventually I did it every day. And then eventually I was dipping a can of tobacco a day, getting my fix. And I believed that I needed this substance in order to be myself. And I, I always had this cognitive dissonance. And I, you know, I'm sure some of you guys smoke. I'm talking about every addiction here. Marijuana can be an addiction, all right? You can't argue, guys. All my friends are like, dude, it's so addicting. So weed, porn, masturbation, nicotine, harder drugs, junk food. I mean, the list goes on and on. Think of any video games. So what I began to realize is that I would turn to this substance because it would give me something. It would give me the motivation, the buzz, the happy, feel good feeling that I would get that I wasn't getting from life. And as I began to research and I learned more about it, the reason that I talk to you guys and I push the 90 day no fat, the reason that I talk about fighting depression and fixing the dopamine, it boils down to this point. When you use drugs or any of the stuff that we talked about, you are stimulating the dopamine. Now the dopamine is not responsible for feeling good. This is the very most important part. It is responsible for motivation. So instead of being motivated for life, when you are dependent or when you're using substances, you are now dependent on this vice to motivate you. You're motivated for that drug, okay? And what realized me, what realized me, what made me realize is that I was getting less motivated for life. It was an illusion. It was this drug making me feel happy, life is good, but then really guys, I was stagnant as could be. And I went months at a time quitting and then getting back on months, fighting this cognitive dissonance, hating that I would do this but feeling like I needed it in order to be myself. So the one thing that helped me quit, that really, it wasn't the fear of getting cancer. It wasn't the money problem, it wasn't anything. The fucking thing that clicked in my mind that said, Elijah, we gotta get our shit together, man. We gotta change our life. Is that I realized that if I could feel more motivation, if I stopped, then I better fucking stop. If I could be more happy to be alive by stopping, then I better fucking stop. Because now, like when I stop, guys, this monk mode thing, I now have more motivation for life. I don't get my motivation firing off in my head from the dopamine by being stimulated by a drug. Life does that for me now. And you know what life, where life is? It's out there. It's not at the grocery store. It's not at the gas station. It's not on my computer. That's not where life exists. Life exists here. See, when I go to get that quick stimulus from the get, no, that's not where it is, man. Life is out there. And now I'm motivated to get the fuck out there and make something of myself and to really live. That is my call, man. And I realize as soon as I give it up, 
I'm motivated for everything, dude. I mean, I find like a feeling of euphoria that comes over me. I'm walking around, I'm more serene, I'm more calm. It, I mean, I'm more motivated to eat my greens. Like I'm more motivated to just get up in the morning and go for a walk. But when you have a drug, everything else seems subpar. So that's why, yeah, video games are okay, but we should limit them. Yeah, you know, like, man, there's just so, and you have to really be honest with yourself. What is it in your life that is sapping you of that motivation? Because guys, as soon as you let it go, the brain begins to rewire itself, it begins to repair, and now you are again a whole. It's not about becoming a monk, all right? It's not about just doing it or, and being this masochist, like, like self-harm. There's no self-harm here. We don't take cold showers for that reason. It's the self-discipline that we, that we like now instill in us. And self-discipline is one of the greatest feeling things that you are now in control of your body. A master of himself. A slave to no thing. A king. See, that, that is such a great feeling, guys. And then as you begin to know that that no longer, I'm no longer a slave to that fucking drug. I don't need that to feel whole. I need myself. I have master over my mind. I don't need that to make me happy. I don't need that porn to make me fucking, you know, happy or feel something. I've been through the battle. And I am my own man. That is the greatest feeling, I think, for any man, is to know that he is in control. And then anything that seems hard, that comes to you in life, anything, you, you have this background that you know that you can handle it. That's what self-discipline gives you. The understanding and the courage and the confidence that no matter what happens in your life, you can do that. That's powerful. You see, but we run from it all the time. And the world that we live in, the YOLO world that we live in, you only live once. This hedonistic lifestyle of pleasure, pleasure, avoid the pain and go for the pleasure, teaches you to fear the cold. It teaches you to fear anything that's, of, that's not comfortable. And it makes you softer as a man. See, it's, it's very hard to learn self-control. It's hard to teach yourself self-discipline. But once you understand why you're doing this in the first place, man, it makes it all worth it. And I know you guys are going to stick to this fucking thing. I know that, you know, it gets fucking tough. But keep going with it, guys. Keep going. Make it the 90 days with, it. with me. Prove to yourself that you can. And if you fail, then just start the fuck over. Okay? This isn't a race. This is us brothers building each other up trying to be the best version, the most motivated version of ourself. Because it is okay to realize that the things that I'm doing are sucking, are being a leech to my motivation in life. Why am I not as inspired by just looking out of the window on a sunny day or going for a walk? That's supposed to be how it is. So I ask you guys, we're going to get back there. We're going to be these indomitable men, man, illimitable men. And I will see you guys very soon.